Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name's Jolie. Happy that you're here with me today. And I'm um, going to be reading from A Little Time for Myself. It's a collection of Al Anon personal experiences. It's the newer of the um, Al Anon daily reflections. And I got it. And here we are back again. Ah, I made the reading. So I got to go to a meeting today online. It was for my other group. And um, <clears throat> I mistakenly, like, you know, like when you think you remember the dates and times of something you haven't gone to for a while, but you're like, oh, good, I can go to it. And you put in the numbers and you put, put it in. And then it's a totally different meeting because I was on a different day. But you know what? They're like happy to see me. It was like, yeah. I mean, I'm always happy to see people like, you know, reaching out, doing their best, trying to, uh, trying every day, you know, having the courage to change, which I, you know, I really I'm grateful that I have it today. All right. So with that said, I just got done having a sneezing fit. And now I feel like I'm a, a sinus, sinusy face. All right. So April 11th is the date of the read and page 102. So here we go. Y'all set? Says I was nine or ten years old when I swore. I swore after another beating from my father that when I grew up I would never treat my children like that. And I didn't. I never struck my two children, priding myself on sparing them the abuse I experienced as a child. This is serious. This is dark. So so during my fourth step inventory, I realized I was still whipping myself, cringing every time I made a mistake and was too tired to deliver a superhuman level of performance. Wouldn't I tell my own children they were doing the best they could, that they could learn from any errors, that they could give themselves a break, a snack, a nap. Yes. Let's ever stop living that. That's interesting. We have that self-talk. It's really hard on ourselves because we're less than perfect. And I always thought, oh, I don't want to be perfect. But I, my level was to make it the best it could be with that, with that eye for aesthetics, you know. So it's good to be easy and loving with yourself because then you can actually truly give that to other people as well. But we deserve it. We deserve to do that for ourselves. So today's reminder, through Al-Anon, I'm learning to, through my recovery programs, both, all, I am learning to apply a compassionate attitude toward myself today. I can ask my higher power to help me out um, to be a kinder person to myself one day, one hour at a time. Love that. Good reminder. And there's a quote from Courage to Change book that we read here on this channel. It says, Today, I will be gentle with my humanness. Okay, I like that. And the question of the day is, how can I treat myself with more kindness today? I am present and listening to my cues. Am I thirsty? Am I hungry? Am I tired? How important is it? Um, finding beauty in the fact that I'm still alive, that 
I have my limbs and my my ability to um, have a life living it, you know, drive to work, have a job, like the simple things. So with an, it's like an exuberant, enormous amount of gratitude for the mundane things in my life. And I'm just so grateful for that. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to keep it short and sweet because I'm going to treat myself with kindness today because I am exhausted. I didn't get much sleep last night and I had an early day and um, it was full and wonderful. I got to dress another um, customer today. Um, well, she was a customer because she bought everything that she tried on. And that was amazing. She looked great. And we shared a lot of laughs. And um, she's one of the new, one of the other models. I mean, I have like four more people to dress for the art, for the, um, I call it the art show, but it's the fashion show that's coming up on the 20th where I'm at. So, you know, it's like kind of simple stuff, but we get to spend time together with people that are new in our lives and that's nice <clears throat> excuse me and um so yeah she we're she texted me and she's like can you send me a picture of the dress i tried on and i'm like sure so i send it to her well you know like sometimes what happens when you leave a text open and then you're like you think you're responding to somebody else well the way she, what she said back was pretty cute so she's like thank you and I'm like thank you for today and you're and she's like you're welcome she's like um really appreciate you sending me the picture and so then she sent something later on in the evening it says hey really enjoyed Jolie today we laughed a lot regarding my lopsided body she doesn't have a lopsided body so I was there for an hour and 40 minutes. Uh, she added a purse and I had to find some shoes. She was extremely patient and helpful. I told her how you enjoyed her, etc. And so she was thinking she's talking to the other model that I had yesterday. And um, she was very sweet so far. So I thought I would keep that, <laughs> took a screenshot of it because I was like, ah, I'm going to be kind to myself today. Cause normally I'd be like, oh, well that's, I'll just leave it there. And, but I wanted to be kind to myself so that I took a screenshot of it so that I can have it for me. I'm sharing it here because I feel like I may need it on days where I'm, I'm feeling, um, on my low end, you know, like, like kind of sad about life, you know, maybe a little defeated or overwhelmed or, um, you know, sometimes, because I mean, when you have, when you live with like growing up in um, situations where there was alcoholism and addiction, you have a lot of that trauma where you're um, maybe yelled at um, because the adults weren't able to um, regulate their emotions and they they react to things that the kids did like myself and my sisters you know maybe they you know and then we're just like we're traumatized by that then we don't know how to act we're like we love this parent we're confused and so you know then that stays in your stays in your body forever right because you're you know, that's maybe why I'm really jumpy. Um, I always feel like a cat on the hot tin roof. If somebody walks into a room and I'm just not aware of it and I'm like, oh, you know, I'm a jumper like that. But um, yeah, so small kindnesses are, are good. You know, maybe I, I need to get my meals done. I was thinking, I actually wrote on a list that I need to um, make a nail appointment and a pedicure because that would really be nice to myself. 
and um, I went to a meeting today. So that was being also kind to myself. And so, I don't know, I think that's good for today. But um, I'll go ahead and let's see the serenity, the serenity prayer, excuse me. So we can end on that good note. And that's something that I do in the morning and at night. I say the serenity prayer on the side of my bed, you know, like either kneeling or like in some type of yoga pose, like as simple as warrior one, you know, shoulders and hips aligned straight forward and you know, even hands like, um, like with the heart or overhead. God grant us the serenity to accept things that we can't change, to have courage to change things we can and wisdom to know the difference. Let's say this third step prayer to you because it's, it's the other prayer that I say also is God, I offer myself to thee. Build with me and do with me as thou wilt. Relieve me of the bondages of self so that I may better do thy will. Take away my difficulties so victory over them bear witness to those I would help with thy love, power, and way of life. May I do thy will always. Amen. Okay. Well, I love you. And I will see you, God willing, tomorrow with another reading okay love you and like uh subscribe if you haven't already and share this content with somebody who may benefit okay there's steps on this channel and um we have a step meeting on um we will have the next one uh i think it's like may 6th or something it's a sunday the first sunday of the month actually it's may 5th all right. Very good. Love you. Mm -hmm.